Hi there, this is Growing Up Otaku here with a impromptu unboxing of the OnLive Micro Console. So FedEx just dropped this little thing off. I have to bear with me. As I said, this was an impromptu video. So the place is a wreck. Florida is in the middle of a biblical flood. So our lighting is terrible. And we have lots of baby toys to work around. Also, I've never done an, ooh, look how pretty, unboxing video before. So, uh, let's take a look here. Nice, snazzy looking retail box hiding in here. This is dropped off by Federal Express. Two day shipping is the standard on live. Shipping option and costs about ten bucks. The micro console itself runs one hundred dollars, but they seem to be giving these things away almost constantly. Okay, so slide that open. Very nice. They even got some little. That's not gonna show. Eh, maybe a little bit. We got a little indents in there for holding everything in place. This is, uh, this is actually one very nice little, uh, very nice packaging job that they put together here. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that this is the controller. Something down here. Let's take it off see what it is. Put your batteries in there. Okie dokie. And this, this is the OnLive Micro Console itself. A little box. Here's my hand. See, it's about what four inches long, inch tall, mostly square. Wonderful high gloss piano black dust magnet. We have two USB ports on the front. Have Ethernet jack, your uh, toss link, SP diff, digital out, whatever they're calling it this week. Uh, there's a little mini jack there. I am going to assume. No, I have to assume it's written on here. Let me take a look. Uh, headphone jack? Analog. It says analog. It's probably a two banger uh, headphone style. Audio out. Uh, got your HDMI port and supposed to be a mini HDMI port. Actually. Oh, and then there's it's DC in. There's power on this end. Okie dokie. Directions, uh, such as they are. Ironically, more than they give you with an iPad. And, uh, disclaimers, FCC approval information, and so forth. Controller, something else in there. Heavy part. Oh, it comes with batteries. Oh, alright. Check it out. Comes with Duracell batteries, no less. Nice perk. And this is. Ooh. Appears to be a rechargeable battery pack. Very nice. I really, <clears throat> really hook you up around here. And yet another power brick that I have no idea on where I'm going to plug it in at. Such is the nature of the tech obsessed. 
Uh, decent length cord. Seems about six feet long. Two prongs on the US adapter. At least I don't have to worry about fitting in a three prong somewhere. So polarized. Does not appear to be a polarized plug. Might be one of the easier ones to fit. Find a spot for. Okay, what else we got in our box? A box of cables. Mm. <laughs> Ethernet cable. USB on one side. Very obvious. One is mini USB. Always need a few spare of those, that's nice. And a third cable, probably for video. Yes, this is, uh, appears to be a standard HDMI cable. It says HDMI on it. Very good. How big of a cable did they give us for video? Well, not bad. This is uh, six feet, five feet, six foot cord, six foot video. Yeah, this LAN cable won't go anywhere I need it to. That also appears to be a six foot cable. It's a good cable reach on everything they included. And uh, that about does it for the contents of the stylish box. I am going to take a moment off camera. I'm going to figure out where the hell I'm going to put this one. And I will return shortly. Well, shortly for you. And we are back. Okay. What I am going to do first, this one, is, let's see here, let's take our included Duracell batteries, they both go in the same way. You know, you'd think if they gave you one sheet of instructions, you would bother to read them, but, mm, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is actually a lot easier than I made it look. A little difficult trying to work off of the camera here. And here's our AC adapter. Okay, and I have simply cannibalized the uh, toss link and the HDMI cable from our uh, PlayStation 3. Order to connect this system efficiently. Because who wants to mess around when you got a new toy, right? There's our LAN and our HDMI. Okie dokie. Oh, well, we got signal on TV instantly. Instantly. As soon as I connected that HDMI cord. Good to go. Our television is a dying rear screen projection. So, 
a little bit of flicker there. What do we got? On live sync controller, press the on live button on the wireless controller using the USB cable, connect the controller to the micro console to complete the sync. Oh, fiddles with sticks. So I'm going to have to go get yet another. I'll push that button. Pushing that button. It's uh, find that cable I moved out of the way. All these micro USBs, it's not even a mini, it's more to what you would find on a newer smartphone. Very good. Got some blinky lights out there. Our uh, display screen changed instantly. Sync is complete. Detach the USB controllers and press the a button when you are done. We will remove our cable. We will press our A button. A button. How much you want? I bet I put those batteries in wrong. actually a diagram there so we can see yes indeed I did put the batteries in wrong thought it was a little odd that they were both pointing the same way but it went by port configuration rather than bothering to read anything okay so that gives us a light we will try our A button yet again screen changes Adjust brightness and contrast. And it has no brightness or contrast settings of your own. This is a pet peeve of mine where they tell you to change your TV settings. That is not cool. TV settings work fine for other things. All right. Let's see. Let me back some. See if we can get a little better. View. Ugh of all the baby toys. Sign in. Enter our email address. Run in console. Styled. Type pad. Which email do you think I registered with OnLive? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? There are a couple of USB ports on the front of that thing. I think this is a spectacular time to see if a keyboard will actually work with that little toy. Alright, I have my uh, my go-to standard portable keyboards. This is the uh, Logitech. It's a desk setup. What is this? This is a Logitech cordless tech desktop EX110. Um, and the beauty about this thing is it is wireless, which is why I have to plug in all these wires. 
So, plug in our transmitter over here, and uh, it does not function. Okay. We will have better luck with the Logitech Cordos desktop once this is set up. As that setup currently works flawlessly with a Wii, a PS3, the media server, and pretty much every other little thing I have ever tried to plug it into. Um, and our password. <laughs> password I use. And if this takes too long, you will not know it. I will have edited it. This gamepad has a nice feel to it. This is why no one used a secure password on their PlayStation Network account. Because it is such a trial. Enter numbers, characters, symbols using a gamepad, invalid email address, and password. Very well. One more time. A little clicky as you can hear. It's also driving me a little bonkers that the keyboard is uh, laid out in an ABC format <laughs> rather than like a keyboard. I think I would be used to, uh, or rather, I am used to using seeing the alphabet in non alphabetical form. So, I will pause this and gather my login information, and we will meet back here shortly. All right, one more time. And sign in. We are connecting to OnLive. We are installing an update. Once complete, the up micro console will restart. There's a little more controller love for you. Got the uh, nice jointed D pad over here. The thumbsticks, springy. Not a lot of wiggle in the middle. Very nice. Couple buttons up there. Start and select, I assume. Start and. Select and start. A little, hmm. Here's a little opposite. I'm a PlayStation gamer when I do touch a game bad. Usually for a PC if it selects over here and starts over here. I don't know why it feels backwards. 
Your ABXY, traditional Xbox layout, uh, bumpers, triggers, bottom bumpers. Bumper is nice. You know, Goopy thing to it. It's anything like a DualShock 3, it's going to be a pain whenever I put it down anyway. This feel a lot more sturdy than the DualShock 3's. Uh, it takes slightly more force. On the bottom we have our media transport keys. Play, pause, fast forward, rewind, and home. Gotta go home. And our guide button, of course, in the middle. A little bit of Cylon action. Well, back when uh, Cylons looked like robots in my day. That's what you get for being a grandpa. Metal Cylons. No boobs on the Cylons in my day. Kids today. Growing up. Scions with great jugs, I tell ya. Are these bushy buttons? Yeah. on everything. Controller update. Connect controller to the micro console. With a USB cable or select update later. Well, you know what? Uh, we, we're going to plug it in. We're going to go for broke. You can come along for the ride. Impromptu unboxing. Everybody's favorite thing. Also, my first unboxing. I have not done an unboxing video before. Kind of wish I did for the iPad. And got me hits and internet fame, which is all that really matters. It is now installing an update into my controller. Update is successful. Or to update another controller. Nope, just got the one, guys. Thanks. If the micro console TV adapter is connected through a Wi Fi bridge. It is not. Oops. I just unplugged my doohackey. Okay. Well, I can go back and look at this video later and find out what that said. But it, mm. If you're using Wi-Fi and you're a gamer, your priorities are messed up. All right. We are going to... Ooh, we're going to take a look at the settings menu because this is one of my favorite, favorite things. any device. 1080i, which is correct for this television. Peripherals. That's our controller update. Our network is directly... And we're back yet again. This time that break was for running out of space on the camera. So, anyway. Uh, that's enough options menu. Ooh. My controller seems to have gone to sleep. Uh, also allow me to correct the select and start button positions I mentioned before. They are in the right spot. I checked a dual shock. I am the one who is backwards, not the controller. I have also retested both the keyboard and mouse of the Logitech desktop. And they work just fine since the micro console update. See. I can move through the menus with the mouse and with the arrow keys on the keyboard as well. So, good news there. Right. And we are going to sign in. You might have noticed I did not create an account. I already have an on live account, as should pretty much everyone, because it is free. And you can play the first 30 minutes of any game on their system for free. You'll also note I installed no software into the OnLive system. That's because this is a cloud gaming system. There is no software to install. Everything is streamed from OnLive servers back down to me. 
In fact, once we get this started up, it should automatically access all of my games, all of my save games, all of my configurations, and I shouldn't have to touch a bloody thing. We're not getting any sound at the moment. Standard on my screen looks just like it does on my PC client. Or the iPad viewer, if you are familiar with that as well. The arena. Games in progress. I'm not going to demo the entire OnLive system, but uh, frankly, it's a bit of a wonder of technology. And I have been a. Ooh, set up voice chat with others when spectating. Probably would support a headset through that USB jack. I also would not be surprised if it. It's rather a nice picture until it locked up. Would not be surprised if it supported Bluetooth headsets as well. Except that stream crashed, so that was uh what's they got going on? Home front. THQ's latest expensive batch of fail. And I will leave you here to enjoy some, uh, oops, well, to enjoy some baby toys. Grab the clicker for the receiver. Sound out hooks are not set right. All right. Hmm. This is coming out in a <coughs> ProLogic surround mode. This is not in any kind of a digital surround format. This is not DTS or Dolby 5.1. This is uh, old school surround. All right, so let's go into my games. And yes, the, those are indeed my games. Very good. So. Check out one of the best of them, Red Faction Gorilla. And we will hit play now. Bango. through the logos. My controller is unresponsive at the moment. I have my keyboard and mouse here. Oops. And my finger over the camera lens, so bonus there. There's a grumble monster sitting on top of the TV. Keyboard works. And the mouse also works. Let's check out our options, controllers. This might be a bit of an issue if you switch from the PC client to the uh, the box. So make sure you have at least a USB keyboard handy if you are coming from uh, We're going to try the gamepad. You can see it has all of my controls already set up. <laughs> set up wrong for this particular occasion. That's my auto save. That is it. Eat your hearts out, console gamers. Oh, my Y stick is, or uh, right stick is, either is inverted or needs to be inverted, or I uh, never know which one I want. Whoops. Camera Y axis.
and uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, he's going to be up for a little bit of a surprise. Well, I don't actually recall. Uh oh. They're really down like being blown up. Is it Rumble? Looks pretty good. Um, I have also played this game through on the PlayStation 3, not for a little while yet. The quality is at least comparable, uh, if not just ever so slightly better. Uh, it's a little tough to tell. So let's get into, see if we can get into some of the goodness. That comes with the soul crushing physical calculations of Red Faction Gorilla. That's a good stuff. That's why you want to play Red Faction Gorilla. It all comes apart at the seams. Um, this game can be slightly, slightly abusive to an older PC. We have a tip that someone's moving classified EDF documents to your router. Find the courier and get that info. It's over there. This should do nicely. Okay. Uh, Take a minute here. Oops. Oh, piffle. Very good. Okay, we're going to switch back to a keyboard and mouse. Where I know what button does what. to be running just fine.
And not even the slightest drop in frame rate. Oh, that's when the bridge fell on my head. And, uh... Okay, I think if we touch our controller here... We can... Uh, we're supposed to be able to push a... Oh, we create a brag clip. There we go. So we'll hit the guide button. Yeah, we're online. On live. This seem to crackle and pop a little bit on the uh, on the main menu here. And I don't know where my drag clip went, but you can save like the last 30 seconds of your gameplay. It's a fun feature. I don't use it very often, obviously. But that concludes our run through of the OnLive micro console cloud based video gaming system. Also, if rumors are to believe, coming soon with movies and also coming soon to your tablet. So, thanks for watching. This is out.